Record store day is typically just that a day, but this year with COVID-19, the initiative was spread across three days, one in August, one in September and a final event that took place today. Not on your side's photojournalist Chris Chavez was at Zia Records to see how the store is weathering the pandemic. It's been a record time for vinyl sales. Just last year, records outsold CDs for the first time since 1986. In fact, the Recording Industry Association of America says 62% of physical media sales in the first half of this year came from vinyls. Today, Zia Records on Speedway celebrated the third and final record store day of the year. People lined up as early as 3 a.m. to get their hands on new and exclusive vinyl drops. People were waiting. People were just eager. People were looking into the windows. Mike Odivares is the manager of Zia. He says there's a vinyl renaissance taking place and crossing age groups. He says part of the vinyl renaissance is nostalgia, but another part is holding the big physical copy. I think people like the large print, the art print, you know, they do things differently with record art than they do with the CD. But there's also the hunt for old and new favorites, then getting to spin them on the turntable. One customer we spoke to says he and his wife go record shopping every Saturday, and the appeal of records comes from the feeling they offer. When you listen to vinyl compared to listening to any audio on computer interface or stereo, it just has a different... Uh, just different emotion. This year is Zia's 40th anniversary and Olivares believes the store's success even through a pandemic is because they had a plan. We have a plan and I think we execute it very well and I think everybody kind of you know sees that so they want to come in and support the store and business. In a year of uncertainty music continues to be a constant bringing people together. Music is definitely kind of that all-encompassing um, uh, medicine, you know, I think everybody needs. Zia let customers in at 7 a.m. this morning to pick up copies of today's new releases. And within the first few hours, the store had already sold 80% of that stock.